Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Necropolis with your host, Julius Slow Wolf. Last time, um, our run ended in a very unceremonious way. I have to remember to respect diggers a little bit more than I already do. And I mean, I do respect the digger. The digger is, a, is an enemy that kind of comes out of nowhere, is a little bit annoying to hit because he doesn't have many open hitboxes, but he doesn't have a lot of HP. And as long as you hit him with the right weapons, he dies almost instantly. Uh, we had the right weapons, we just didn't respect him, and then we died instantly. Uh, what really sucked about that last run, though, is we just could not live long enough to find armor. Like, we were stuck with black guard armor up until level 4. That's bad. Granted, armor has been absolutely no guarantee of survival, but it certainly does help. Uh, this run is looking a lot more promising, at least in the beginning, than the previous ones did. All of this being suspiciously empty sucks. Um, largely because we have this thing called Uda's Hand Axe. Uda's Hand Axe, as far as I'm concerned is a top tier weapon this early in the game it's arguably one of the best and the reason why is because it takes those tricky situations where you've got tons of horde men and makes them into literal just loot sessions like see this see this loot sesh you just one hit any one of these assholes down they go hey come at me bro oh is there more that spawn behind me oh uh, give me all the loot you got thank you not hard <laughs> that's the Uda's hand axe is overpowered at this early stage of the game so if you find it you take it you love it you cherish it you give it food and shelter you you water it you grow it into the into the hand axe it's meant to be now compared to previous runs although we have an incredible amount of offense which I think is probably the most important part we so far are still lacking a little bit on the defense this will help a bit we're now up to a regular amount of HP however this is no guarantee of future success. We all know that as far as this game is concerned, <laughs> your life is a joke, uh, and you're gonna die anyway. Especially on level 4, because that's when they start tossing some really horrible shit your way. And especially with the Berserker book. Like, the Berserker book is great for the first few levels. I'd say the first three, because you can usually get hit, not die instantly, and have a good time. Past that, the Berserker book is a liability. Like, it's just not a smart move. Now, do we need that chest? Absolutely not. We are in such a good position offensively with this axe that I'm I'm pretty confident we can keep going forward with this. Uh, it's going to allow us to do all the damage to horror men, and then for dealing with those other things, you know, for dealing with these guys, for instance, even then, it's a tier 2 weapon. Like, a tier 2 weapon just does more damage. Like, it's still going to take 3 swings regardless, but this is 3 swings with a much faster weapon. So you know what? No issues, no tissues, this is going to be the skeleton job right here. What's the skeleton job? It's kind of like a skeleton key, except for, you know, it's a skeleton job where you just kind of, you know, do the bare bones necessary to be able to continue to succeed in your particular career uh, choice path thing. Fuck off! Okay, run. Those are, I am I think that genies are quickly becoming the only bad guys that I feel comfortable just saying, you know what, it ain't worth it, just run. Um, like it's just, it's not worth it. All of that is not worth it. There's metal down there, which is really useful um, material. There might be some chests. I don't care. I actually just do not care enough to go into there from the direction that they are asking me to go in there. Like, there's no way. Genies at this stage, I have almost no HP. There's no way. I hear spiders. Pardon me. Uh, you think you can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this? So another important enemy that dies instantly thanks to piercing is... Okay, I took a little bit of hurt there. Oh, and it's a tier 2 weapon, so it just instant kills those guys too? What a day to be alive. So yeah, honestly, this axe is just caring. Uh, we are uh, currently surrounded with a Ginny, a Ratman, I heard. Look, can we jump over this? If we don't, we die. It's that simple. Keep running. We will not survive that Ginny, so let's leave. I, I do not feel confident taking those guys on. There's just no way I do. Is there a way to shut that door? Nope. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep running until they de-aggro. Hopefully we succeed in doing so. Otherwise, we are very dead. Okay, I don't see him following. We should be fine. I'm that legitimately scared of those things now. They are terrifying. They are impassable. I have the very honest feeling that if we had not run away when we did in the last episode, in the last run, we would have easily just died, like, instantaneously. Back off. You hit this guy. Real easy. Deal with the skellies. I would like a slightly different secondary weapon to be able to deal with skellies a little bit easier, to be honest. Like, any bashy weapon would be fine. Um, like, Bofus Cutter would be pretty sweet. Uh, 
You know, not just any Bashy weapon, to be honest, though. Uh, the Staff is real bad. Ooh, that's a real thing here. And then this is just a straight-up better weapon for dealing with the, with the Skellies. Okay. Okay. Not for dealing with those guys. Keep Udo's Hand Axe for, out for most of it, but any time the Piercing isn't going to do the trick, you now have a Tier 1 weapon that is mundane that can do the trick. Uh, magic Scroll. Uh, a recipe for an unknown potion. What is the recipe for? Stone Skin Elixir. Not bad, but we don't have a lot of mats with which to make it, so... I heard the spider. Oh, there's there's the spiders. Spider two dead. It's kind of okay. You're a thing. Okay, and you're dead. That's all that matters. You're dead too. You can go down, town. Uh, you know what? Here, let's go down to the, the to Funky Town with this hand axe here instead, because it's a little bit faster. It does the DPS we need? It's not piercing, so it's gonna do uh, its full damage. Okay, I don't know why we did that. Um, and you are a horde so down you go. Easy enough. Where were you in the last run? Okay, you refilled Stam. That's not exactly ideal, but it'll do. I'd rather have had the HP heal, but that's that's fine. Um, this is okay so far. What did this chest give us? Just a bunch of potions and a recipe, I think? So, an unknown potion. Smells like sulfur. Makes your nose burn. Some magic scrolls. Another unknown tier 1 potion. We're gonna eat this. Because we're a little bit lower on HP and we can afford to take the stamina hit, which we did this time, so that's unfortunate, but hey, life goes on. And I'm, like, sincerely hoping that this level ends fast. Because I am tired of, like, walking into a place and just be like, hey, look, there's Ginny's everywhere. Now, we do have some robots, uh, robots up here, which is good. I, I like dealing with robots. Robots are fine, usually. I mean, the, the guys with the shields are assholes, as per usual, but, um... They do give you a reasonable... Oh, you did not just come at me from behind. You're dead now. And I hope you realize that you're dead because I hate you. Uh, we're going to grab this. Then we're going to swap this out. And we're going to grab the wand on the ground. So at least we you know, we have the option of it, even if we never use it. Or well, the option of what, you might ask? Well, the viewer, I'm, I'm glad that you asked. Um, the option of... Okay, there we go. The option of using a ranged attack if need be. Man! Okay, so there's just a lot of skellies on this floor, even if we never completed the uh, skeleton job in the last one. Guess who's completing it this time? On the last floor, I meant. Like, even if we never completed it on the last floor, even touched it, this floor we could have done the same job twice and managed to come out on top. I'm pretty sure. Let that explode. Doesn't kill the skelly, but it gets him low enough and in a position where he can die that we killed him anyway. So, no big loss there. Oh, look, it's a bunch of words. When Abraxas defeated Zoot, the seventh Lich King of Iz, in single combat, he cried out to the heavens, That's it! I'm done! I mean, fair enough. After having deal dealt with, like, the 17th Gem Eater, I'm beginning to understand how Abraxas might have full my fuck. I missed every attack I put out there because of this elevation change here. Look. Just don't do what I did. And miss. Everything. Okay, right, so that's our first real, like... Ration that we used this round, this level. That's fine. Who's in here? I see nothing. I don't care. Okay. Just wear this guy's stam down. Is that a thing? Do these guys have stamina? Is that a thing where if you just repeatedly hit them with, uh, while, while their shield is blocking, you can still hit them and hurt them? It seems like it. I think that they follow the same rules behind stamina that we, uh, that we as players do, which is, you know, at least somewhat in heart. Okay, he's dead. Let's go after this guy as well. Thank you. Okay, so that's a tier 3 shield. That is just infinitely better. Because although it knocks people 6 miles away... Whoop! It's 6 miles away in the correct direction, as far as I'm concerned. Back off. Look at all these skeletons. They're everywhere. I'm, I'm a little perturbed. This is level 2? I mean, this would have been hilarious level 1. Because I would have been like, yeah, sure, okay, whatever. It's just a bunch of skeletons. At least it's not 1,700 fucking gem eaters up my butt. Trying to crawl up there and, like, make a home out of my innards. Like, a, I don't know, Luke on Hoth. When he's, uh, you know, super fucking cold. He's all like, oh, I'm gonna die. And then Han Solo is all like, you know what? No, you're not gonna die. You're gonna go ahead and hibernate inside of this fucking, uh, you know, Tauntaun. That's, that's kind of how I feel like right now. Okay, I don't know why you're focusing on him. You should be focusing on him. Killing him. Good stuff. That's two crystals. Grind drop crystals as well. Interesting shit. Point. Knock him over. Kill him. Who's left? Just uh, Poison Dude. Okay. That's fine. I can deal with Poison Dude. On his own, Poison Dude is not a big deal. 
and kill him. Man, am I glad that it's not rats. <laughs> oh, between gem eaters and the rats, this game is getting clinically annoying uh, at, at certain moments. It's like on certain levels, like, okay, well, the enemy types you're going to be dealing with this one are um, gem eaters. They'll spawn as often as most bad guys do. That doesn't seem fair, game. I don't care. I am the RNG. That means for random number God. Now I will do as I please. Ooh, what is this? Sword of Casas. It is a piercing short sword. It's no long sword. Interesting. Uda's hand axe is much better. We're gonna stick with this. But at least I think it's much better, because it's faster, it still one hits all the hordemen, and that's all you really need it to do. Um, just one hit the tiny hordemen so that way the big hordemen are on their own, and the big hordemen on their own are not all that scary. Now, if I remember correctly, this place is just not full of secrets. It's the opposite of full of secrets. It's full of lies, is what it is. I mean, secrets aren't... I mean, okay, never mind. Secrets are, technically speaking, lies. If you go into a court of law and you say, Oh, well, it's a secret. Well, and I can't tell you. Well, that's that's a mission of, uh, of the truth. And that is considered a lie. Or a type of lie, anyway. So, like, that's that's a thing to keep in mind. You know, secrets are lies, if you think about it. But, they're not, but in this case, I'm looking for secrets. Because secrets are good. Lies are bad. Okay, they're all dead. That's fine. And, I, and if I remember correctly, there's really nothing over here. Yeah, there's little to nothing over there. Alright. So we're going to go back this way. We're going to continue down this long hallway into the bone room. Okay, the bone room's been a while since we've last seen it. Um, Man. What I would give for an identification potion at this point. So, stone skin elixir. Uh, right, you know what? We got more than enough metal and fungus now, thanks to having dealt with so many skellies. We're going to make two of these elixirs of infernal peace. These, although it means that we're very smelly. Uh, in rougher situations, like against a bunch of... Oh, please die. Yeah, he did. Okay, good stuff. Uh, in rougher situations where we have to deal with um, a lot of gem eaters or something, it's going to be real important. Okay, and there's a potion on the ground. You're almost certain this is water? Okay. You know what? I think we have to try this potion, see what happens. Brown one is... Good. Brown is a potion of vigor. Good to know. So if you see a brown tier one potion, that's the one you want. Everything else can go fuck itself. Um, do we want that magic scroll? We've been unlucky with magic scrolls, at least with them being potions of boom in the past. Uh, but let's see what we can do. Okay, you know what? That's, that's, that's quite a lot of bad guys. Um... These, those guys go down in one hit, which makes me think that Nazgul might be weak to piercing, or just don't have a lot of HP to begin with. Okay, so that's one of them dead. The other one's almost out of stam. Yeah, he's out of stam, and now he's dead. Okay. These are important little things. Do we go after these grind? Remember, they do drop crystals, and we're still at a stage where they're relatively easy. Let's go ahead and scout out the rest of the area first, before we get stuck in a very close-up situation where there's very little room to navigate and breathe in. Um... Because those situations do kind of suck when you're dealing with grind. You need to, you would like some room to duel with them. They're, they're some of the most crafty and intelligent enemies, especially in groups. Uh, kind of like yours truly, so. Gotta take it a little bit easier, you know. Take it easy. Alright. Alright, who showed up? So far, we had no need to worry. We one-shot almost everything. That was beautiful. Uh, the, the archer dudes just went down like a ton of bricks. And that's kind of the most important part. We still have this shitty ass little wand. It doesn't do anything. I have yet to find a use for it. If anyone knows a use for the wand, like, let me know. But considering there's like 30 of you that watch this on a regular basis right now. Um, chances are you're watching me play it rather than playing it yourself. And that's fine. That's exactly, that, that's, well, you know, that's kind of what I'm in the business of doing here is just playing for entertainment. But, um, that's a Ginny. I just noticed that. Fucking run. No. Just run. Um, we're gonna quickly explore this, like, Blitzkrieg style. Another fucking Ginny. I am, uh, absolutely just not happy about this. I could try to pop the Elixir for Infernal Peace, but it's no guarantee. If I had the Pass Unseen Elixir, I'd be like, yeah, sure, let's go ahead and just slap these guys. No issues, no tissues, no problems. But unfortunately, not the case. So we're going to back off. Despite the fact that they could give some reasonable loot. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Ain't worth the risk. 
We, like, I just, I've died too many times. We're taking too much stupid damage against those fucking bad guys that seemingly have no weaknesses. If anyone knows a weakness to the fire genies, by the way, if I consider there's 30 of you, um, but if anyone knows a secret to the weakness of those fire genies, you let me know, eh? If you got any ideas, I'm also willing to try them out, but I'm pretty sure that every idea I've had has fallen so far on its face that there is no way to kill those things quickly. There just isn't. Okay. Lots of skellies, two Nazgul back in the mountain. Not ideal. Okay. So you have to be careful. If you get ambushed from behind by like a, a Ginny or something like that, it's going to be a bad day. We're also like kind of using up a lot of our stamina just trying to kill off these skellies. With, you know, not the worst possible weapon. But definitely not the best possible weapon. Oh, he killed him. Dodged. Oh, I didn't dodge that one. Well, shit. I mean, they still all eventually died, which is nice. The arcane dust is a good touch. Um, I guess. Okay, there they are. Kill off that dude. Okay, this guy's almost done. He is now dead. And he's dead. Good stuff. Um, we kind of want the end. Alex sort of infernal piece over the ration. Let's go ahead and eat a ration. And pick up this stuff. Gather food. That's an important thing for us. Okay, horde men. This is the first time we've seen an easy enemy in like a year. So you know what? Enjoy this. Enjoy this moment where you can just run around and pimp slap everything for like good two minutes. Stop moving. Thank you. And you dropped a reasonably good shield, actually. Um, I'm not sure if it's better for us than this uh, knockback shield. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna roll with it because it means that we don't get stunned as much or staggered as much. One of the two. It's it's a good little shield to have. It's so rare that I see it too. So I'll I'll take it. Now we could go back. We could explore. We might find stuff. But these are all like non absolutes. I'm not comfortable with this. But you know what? We are gonna try to go back. And as much as I bitched about Jenny's for like the past forty minutes, we're gonna see if we can't like tickle one. Maybe kill it. Because if we can, it'll give us a decent number of gems. Maybe. No guarantees, though. It's... It's... <laughs> scary time. Oh, it's worth it! There's two red dudes. Oh, red dude. Please die. Thank you. Okay, I killed one red dude. Killed the other red dude. They dropped a wand. That was not worth it. Dodge past these guys. Keep running. Did I hear a rat man? No, that's a gin. Okay, back off. We did what we could. We're going to the next level. Goodbye. We also have, like, a ton of, like, unidentified stuff. If we could just pick up the dude. Like, the scroll dude. <laughs> Who's the scroll dude? If we could just talk to the dude that sells you shit at the end of every level, guaranteed, he's got a he's got a scroll of identification. Sweet. At that point, we just use it and, uh, you know, call it a day. I think that's our plan here. We've picked up, like, another hundred gems. Eh. It's a worthwhile little blitz, I guess. Uh, and we have no second blessing yet. But we do have a chance at it, at least. And there's the dude right now. All right, interact with this man. We can't buy anything. All right, what are we dropping here? Standard ration, just in case. Nothing's coming from behind? Doesn't seem like it. Not yet, anyway. Uh, grab this. Uh, use this, baby. And what do we get? All right, scroll screaming? Good. Resurrection? Yeah. Let's use it. Does it power up our HP? It does! That's actually real sweet. We're going to keep that in mind. Scroll boom. Useless, practically. It's gotten us killed. Punching potion, Elephas Mystical Boon is good. Yeah, all these scrolls are at least useful. Um, we're gonna grab this puppy right here. I would like to pick up the food, please. The food, the food. El Fudo Importante, thank you. Now, what do you have in terms of weaponry? We've got Uda's Hand Axe. Again, it's really good, but it's starting to get to a point where its uh, usefulness is getting outdone. Huh. What is a Delver? You mean the Diggers? That can't be it. I have no idea what a Delver is. Huh. Well, it's a reasonable weapon, but it's not worth spending all that money on. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to go ahead and pick up the Potion of Vigor. There we go. And let's go ahead and explore and see what's on the next level. Start us off. Oh shit, we could have bought a... Um, we could have bought a piece of food and gotten a second job. Ah! Fuckers. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Um, can I just make food? I'm gonna try this out. You know what? Let's uh, let's drop. I don't know. Scroll boom for a second, uh, and then make a food. Does that count? It does. Good timing. 
So that's two uh, that's two jobs new for us. Snuff out the shell mages. Um, yeah, I'd rather have the standard rash than the scroll boom more, more often than not. But um, screw it. snuff out shell mages and collect creatures remains. So those two should be doable. But um, this will end the episode for now. I'm I'm glad that this dude is managing to make his way here. I'm gonna call him Purple Eyes. Purple eyes. Bam, bam, bam. I just mixed up two songs. It hurts. It's rude. It's something. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit that like button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.